Hey guys, it's Jackie, and today I am doing my video review for Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Sea of Monsters. I've been meaning to do this video for like two weeks now, maybe three weeks, um, but I have been crazy busy, so I'm finally getting around to doing it. If you hear noises in the background, sorry, that's my parents are doing the lawn outside, so I apologize for that ahead of time. Um, but, uh, I really like this book. It was a great book. It's almost as good as the Lightning Thief. Life in the has a slight advantage over that, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, and <laughs> since I'm really late on getting this video, I'm actually already halfway through with the third book, which is The Titan's Curse, so I'm about halfway through with this already, and I've been like, I need to get this video up, review up before I get my review for The Titan's Curse up, because I'm really behind. But anyways, I really enjoyed this book, like I said. Uh, um, I really liked how, um, in the beginning, the first couple of chapters, they kind of, um, well, they left off where the uh, lightning thief kind of left, they picked up where the lightning thief left off, pretty much, um, in a way. And then they kind of, throughout the first couple of chapters, they kind of gave us, um, like, re little tiny recaps on what happened in the lightning thief. Um, so that was kind of cool. I really like the introduction of the new characters, and I also really like the character development of our three main characters, which are Percy, Annabeth, and Grover. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of character development, especially with Percy and Annabeth, because Grover didn't really have a huge part in this. Well, he he did, and he... Grover did have a big part, and he kind of didn't really have a big part. But, um, you know, he had the character development as well, which I'm really glad to see. Um, as far as the new characters of, well, Clarice is kind of a new character, but, um, uh, Tyson is definitely a new character, and I really like their characters. I'm, I found Clarice a little bit annoying at times, but at the same time, she did play a kind of a big role in the book, so, um, you know, I did like her, and I didn't like her sometimes, but I as well, she did have some character development throughout the book, which I was very happy about. Tyson, I really liked because he, you know, starts out as this character who he's a you know mentally challenged um, kid. He's homeless, and uh, you know that's really sad. And he kind of just follows Percy around, um, like kind of like Percy's little sidekick in a way. Um, but um, after we discover that he is a cyclops and that he is in fact Percy's half brother, it just his character just changes completely. Um, when he kind of disappeared halfway through the book, I was really sad because I was, like, really getting into his character. Um, but, um, you know, uh, you know, things happen, and then when they finally find where Grover is, because he had been captured by another Cyclops, who I cannot remember the name of, um, you know, in Tyson kind of comes back. I was like really excited to see him come back because I was feeling like he would be playing some, he would be doing something really big um, when they went to, when they found Grover. Um, so that was really interesting. I also really liked the battle scene with, um, you know, Annie, Annabeth, Percy, and uh, Grover, and Clarice, and Tyson against the other Cyclops. Again, I cannot remember the name of that character, but, um, uh, you know, if you re have read the book, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, the battle scenes were really great, and then when they, <laughs> I think the ending of the book was just perfect. In a way, they did leave it on a cliffhanger, in a way, but, um, I can see why they did that, because when you read the third book, it kind of clears clear some things up that had happened um that we kind of didn't know the answers to in the sea of monsters and uh you know when Thalia comes in I was like because throughout the entire book um, if you guys have read the series you know that Thalia is the daughter of Zeus the god of thunder I believe um, I'm not <laughs> really sure um, I had to catch up my Greek mythology um but um, she had come to Camp half Blood when she was, I think, 14, I'm not quite sure, um, and then, um, she was chased by a 
few monsters, um, and Annabeth and another character, Luke, who kind of played a part in the book as well. Um, they came to Camp Flood and Talia was almost killed trying to protect Annabeth and Luke. So An Annabeth and Luke got to safety, but um, Dal Dahlia was t dying, so Zeus um, saved her life by turning her into this tree, and she remained there until, you know, throughout um, the first and second book, um, she was this tree. And then in the second book, the tree was poisoned uh, by Luke, um, and, uh, you know, Percy, Annabeth, and Cousin Grover was, um, captured, uh, and Claire Lee, Percy, Annabeth, and Claire Reese went on this quest to, um, uh, get the Golden Fleece, which was supposed to restore all the magical energy and was supposed to heal this, um, Talia's tree, and, um, I got it, that's where the Cyclops battle came into play, um, and then... At the end of the book, the, <laughs> the fleece kind of worked its magic a little too much because it actually turned Talia into a real-life person, a real-life half-blood. So she did... That was amazing how they ended the book with that. Um, so I'll, overall, I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Um, I was all in my um, blog review of it. So I did really enjoy this book. And I'm already on the third book, which again is The Titan's Curse. I'm almost halfway through with it. And I'm really enjoying this one as well. Um, so I'm going to have a review up on my blog probably tonight. Um, maybe tomorrow at the latest. And then I will have a video up review a video review up in the next couple of days. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, be sure to check out all my social media links that are linked in the description box below. And I will tell you, talk to you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!